Hi, my name is Reno Tan. I'm from uh, RC World of Ships and we actually want to, you know, basically to share our hobby and actually share our interests with people. Recently, we did uh, some events at a One Degree 15. So we actually sail our Singapore Navy ships. You know, we have World War II, we have modern ship. Within our community, we have about 50 boats. We have people from the uh, age of 10 years old to 60 over years old. My name is Mickey Tan. I'm 65 years old. I'm retiring now, but I don't retire from my hobbies though. During the time I was staying close to the seaside area, and I always take, take on the ship that anchored outside our shore. From there on, I got the inspiration to build on ship modeling. When I was like primary school, I had my first little boat. It was called the Bismarck. It's a 1700 scale. Over the last 30 years, I've like progressed to big boats like this, which is like almost six feet long. My favorite would be the Japanese Navy Yamato. And I actually traveled to Japan to see the, the remnants of the ship in the museum. In this kind of hobby, we go everywhere and we mix with friends everywhere. <laughs> We exchange ideas, you know, we can exchange skills, we actually help each other. Not only in shape, but in other kind of models. It'll take average three to six months to, to have a complete book like this. And there's the different skills, you see, you have to like do the radio control inside. And then you have painting skills, you have weathering skills to so add things like glass and the small little details. A lot of this uh, material to form into the shape of the boat, the cost for the hardware it's a little bit of a price to pay for it. If you have a hobby and you have the means to have the time to build, why don't? As years goes by, of course, technologies improve. I managed to go into building battleship. I knew all these names from young when I was like Yamato, Bismarck, all these are the ships, are all very famous ships, the most famous battleship, the largest battleship of World War II. The complications in the battleship, they are very detailed. Not all the things you can get it easily made. Whereas launches are mostly like a ferry and things like that, they have a simplified uh, structural work. That's why I like to build the kind of uh, model craft. I do play World of Warships and uh, it's a very good game. When you fire the cannons, you see the damages. I have to admit, they are very detailed, the ship, because we are modelers, so we can see like details like rust, grime, salt spray, dirt. You can actually see all these details uh, in the computer graphics. I do the model ships, and then after that, I start playing radio control ships, and right now, I'm playing the actual online games. So when you come here, we try to reenact the scenes on water itself. Yeah. Right now, I think uh, we reached that level where we actually make the guns turn, we have lights, we have navigation lights at night, the red and green. So I think the next thing we can try to achieve or aspire for is to actually try to shoot some of the cannons. We don't have it yet, but we're trying to work towards it. You won't be surprised that nowadays you ask any young kid to give me a, a flathead square, they say, Dad, what is that flathead? So I will encourage, I will encourage the young people or the people who think they have a lot of time to spend to into this hobby.